Hi all, this is Steve the Inventor, and today we're going to do something that everybody wants and nobody seems to want to do. And that is to take your A7R2 outside, shoot in full frame uh, 4K video at 100 megabytes a second, okay, and not have it on S-Log, alright? Not have it on S-Log! Mm. It's so annoying to see people shooting an S-Log and then not showing you what it looks like after you treat it in Adobe Premiere or if you're sucky using uh, uh, the Apple equivalent. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, Canon 16-35 to uh, 2.8 lens, which is you know a lovely lens, beautiful lens, with no image stabilization. But fortunately, the A7R2 has image stabilization built into the body, so at least I'm getting three-axis stabilization no matter what, which is fantastic. Okay, so I'm shooting this in vivid mode in uh, PP2, and uh, what else do we need to know? It's going to be full frame, and we're going to have a look at uh, uh, a tree and some sky and whatever, and. The whole idea is, is for you to get some idea of what uh, video settings other than uh, 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 S-Log is going to look like uh, on YouTube. Uh, bearing in mind that YouTube is, sucks a little bit on their uh, uh, video clarity. Everybody knows that. I'll download what I can and you can see uh, uh, as good as it's going to be there. But anyway, so we're going to take this camera outside take some video of it uh, shooting in PP2 and uh, Ender Vivid and see what it looks like uh, basically it'll be tweaked a little bit in, in Adobe because I just I can't help myself I have to tweak it okay everybody has to tweak it a little bit but we'll take it outside take some shots and see what it looks like and then you can be the judge as to whether uh, using the full frame feature on your camera which is the only way you're going to be able to use a 16 millimeter lens otherwise this be turns into a 24 as soon as you go to crop sensor mode uh, Super 35 sounds fantastic, uh, but uh, the full frame is going to give you better light uh, reaction. So if you're shooting this against your uh, A7S2 and you're shooting in crop mode, you're already, you know, cutting your balls off in a way, okay? Because guess what? You, you're, you're not seeing what full frame to full frame is, and that's what you really want to see. You want to see what full frame A7R2 versus full frame uh, A7S2. Okay, so I'm going to shoot full frame. I'm not going to shoot it in S log, and you'll be able to appreciate uh, what you're getting in that format. So here we go. We're going to outside and do that now. Hi there, this is Steve the Inventor, and we're out here in a almost rainy day. Going to take some pictures of the tree limbs there and some clouds and get an idea of what this uh, camera will do in full frame, okay, as opposed to crop sensor, which everybody seems to push. and. Uh, like I said, it's not fair to compare uh, uh, crop sensor 30, Super 35 with the A7S2 at full frame uh, without pixel binding. It's important to see what this will do in full frame mode because you're only going to get usage of your 16 millimeter uh, uh, facility on a, uh, a Canon 16 to 35 if you're set in full frame. You set it in crop sensor, your 16 becomes 24, and now and also you're letting in less light. You're using a smaller sensor. You're using a lot of things that makes it impossible to correctly correlate the similarity between this camera and its sister, okay? So we're going to take some quick pictures here, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference between the two and uh, decide whether you can shoot in PP2 rather than S-Log um, and get some decent uh, results. Also, I'm shooting in vivid, uh, vivid mode, so it's going to be a vivid PP2 uh, and I, I mentioned the f-stops uh, and et cetera, et cetera, while I'm shooting. So uh, hopefully this will help the people that are trying to compare the two realistically as opposed to the bullshit that you're getting in a lot of these videos. Also, I'm not going to put music in the background and no talking. <laughs> showing you pictures, showing you pictures, showing you pictures, and put a little title down the bottom. I find that extremely annoying. I like having some sort of conversation with the people that are trying to uh, get what they can and can't do with their camera. So. Uh, we may, I may torture you with a little music beginning and end, but it won't be uh, without uh, some proper narration. So hopefully everybody will enjoy uh, seeing what I can do with this camera, and we'll start shooting and see what we've got, okay? So here we go. Okay, we're just trying to adjust the ISO here a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, so we're shooting at 500 at, uh, ISO at um, F22 at 130th of a second. 
and as you can see there it's just stopped raining and the sun's just popped out from behind the clouds but you can see there that it's uh, let me just double check the focusing here because I have it on autofocus which is okay if you want to just check your focusing I usually have it manual but that's beside the point anyway as you can see there that uh, image resolution is pretty good I think the quality is uh, pretty excellent on full frame and you're able to take advantage of all the features of your full frame lenses doing it this way which is something you can't do if you have it on S35 because you're talking about a crop sensor then so using a crop sensor comparing a crop sensor to a full frame sensor on the uh, A7S2 is is not really fair it's not fair to the camera I mean the pixel binding obviously has some problems but in just general photography and what I'm doing here the imagery looks pretty good 4k video at uh, 100 megabytes a second that looks fine absolutely fine now we're not gonna be able to shoot here but we're so far away let's see if we can zoom in a little bit with the f35 but not much I'll check the focus again and it says is it let me do it let's see and yeah it's saying okay it's saying it's pretty much in focus now all right so you can get a pretty good idea that uh, shooting PP2 and 30 per second at 22 at 500 ISO that the picture quality is pretty damn good let me focus this and auto focus on that not too bad so there you are in video in there you can see the leaf detail I don't know how close we can get before it uh, fights the focus on this let's see how much it's gonna fight it I don't think it's fighting it that bad I think those water droplets look pretty good. Let's see if it's going to focus, and it says it's focused. So there you go. Look at the water droplets. All right? On the leaves. I think that looks very sharp. I don't think you can complain much about um, full-frame recording for a lot of things. Especially the 30th of a second. If I was shooting at 60th of a second, which I'd prefer to shoot at, uh, because you can then pan more smoothly. But for what we're seeing here, I think you could agree that that footage is very sharp. And that's good enough for a lot of applications. So there you go. Okay, we're down here at Davis Island. I don't know if it's going to continue the way it is right now but we do have uh, an interesting picture of uh, a cargo ship with uh, what looks like two uh, rainbows forming over from for local rain so uh, we'll use this as an example on what we're doing on the camera all right we're gonna take some pictures of this okay so we're getting sitting down there you can see the, uh, the rainbow in the distance we set it uh, 35 millimeter We've got the whole ship Seems to be in focus, you can see the rainbow. And we're set at ISO 250, F9 at 130th per second. Pretty interesting uh, looking shot. By accident, this happened to be in the right place at the right time. Okay, here's a shot, 130th of a second at F2.8 at ISO 2500. After dusk, a ship uh, being readied for uh, repair and sent, setting back out into the ocean. So this is an interesting shot. A little different. Shooting through, as you can see here, we're shooting around the, uh, the mesh. Obviously, so... About three format, so you have to remember that when you're cutting down, when you're watching the image. And the same thing with the... Uh, Sony A7S II is the same thing. It's cropping down your uh, full-frame sensor a little bit to give you your uh, 16 by 9 format.